so we're just going to do the first part here. So the density of solid iron is 7.87 grams per centimeter cubed. How many atoms per are present per centimeter, cubic centimeter of iron? So on to the PowerPoint. So they only gave us one number in the question. So the number here, I'm going to write it out, is 7.87 grams per centimeter cubed. So now I write my units out like this um, because I follow, um, it's called dimensional analysis. So the way I do it is that I will set it up like this so that all my units will cancel out when I finish my calculation. And then that way I can confirm that I divided or multiplied the numbers correctly instead of giving getting them mixed up as to whether I should divide it or should I multiply it. Uh, this is a good way to keep track of that. Um, so what we need to do, uh, so the question wants how many atoms are present per centimeter cubed. So we already have centimeter cubed in our units, um, but we also have grams. And that's not how we're going to get to atoms. We need to convert this grams to moles. Um, so if you're ever stuck on one of these questions, one of the uh, the best things to start off with is to try to convert everything into moles. Um, moles is kind of like your converting system in between different units. It's uh, usually very helpful to, to convert into moles, as it is in this case. So to convert into moles, we will need the uh, molar ma molecular weight or the molar mass of iron, which if we look at the periodic table is 55.845 grams per mole. Um, now I'm going to write it out so that our grams will cancel out. So one mole over 55.845 grams. So here grams, grams cancel out. So what I'm left with is mole per centimeter cubed. So we're almost there. We just need to convert moles into atoms. And the way we are going to do that is we're going to use Avogadro's number. Um, so we have 6.02 times 10 to the negative 23. So this number always stays the same. Um, the only thing that you can change is the number of entities. So in this case, we want atoms. So, But it could be molecules, it could be ions, anything like that. And it's always per mole. So now moles cancel out, and our units would give us atoms per centimeter cube, which is what the question asked. So after doing all the calculations, we end up with 8.48 times 10 to the negative 24 atoms per centimeter cube. Uh, now, if you don't like following this dimensional analysis approach, if uh, this is too confusing, it's too many numbers all at the same time, um, you can definitely do this one calculation at a time and you'll still end up with the same number. It's completely up to you.